The power source of the Dalek casing also changed several times. During his first encounter with the Monscaro, the first doctor learned that the casing was externally powered by static electricity transmitted through the metal floors of the Dalek city. Isolating a Dalek from the floor using a non-conductive material shut down the casing, although it was not immediately fatal to the occupant. TV. The escape. The Daleks initially overcame this weakness by adding dishes to their casing to receive power. TV. The Dalek invasion of Earth. Although even these were ultimately replaced by vertical rectangular slats around the midsection which absorbed other sources of power. TV. The chase. Even quite late into their history, some Daleks originating on Scaro itself remained powered by static electricity. This was the case with the Daleks from the ship that crashed on Vulcan. TV. The power of the Daleks although their home time postdated the Imperial Renegade Dalek Civil War. Pros. War of the Daleks. Even Daleks who did not visibly draw their power supply from static electricity retained some sort of association with it, as it was by involving static electricity in his experimental time machine that Theodore Maxtable accidentally summoned into his home Daleks who nevertheless could move freely along its wooden floors. TV. The Evil of the Daleks. By the beginning of the last Great Time War, the Daleks had adapted their technology to use a type of energy apparently linked to the process of time travel. On more than one occasion, Daleks and their devices were seen to leech this energy from time travelers in order to power themselves. TV. Dalek. Doomsday. Whatever the power source the Daleks used in the interim, it was, apparently uniquely, immune to being drained by the great city of the Exelons. Strangely, the Daleks retained motive power and the ability to speak even though their weaponry was shut down, which suggests the weapon systems had a separate power supply. The third doctor indicated that this was because the Daleks were psychokinetic and moved around through the power of thought alone, and the city was unable to absorb psychic energy. TV. Death to the Daleks. Other references to the Daleks having psychic potential are scarce, but Rusty could telekinetically recall his gunstick if it was detached from his casing. TV twice upon a time, and, on the planet Chiral, the Eighth Doctor discovered an enclave of humanized Daleks who had, through years of meditation, developed psychokinesis to a remarkable degree. Comic. Children of the Revolution. Additionally, Daleks from the last Great Time War era were surrounded by force fields that prevented bullets and energy weapons from making contact with their casings. TV. Dalek. The Parting of the Ways. Doomsday. Daleks in Manhattan. The Big Bang.